Hey everyone, Teresa with Hickabilly LLC. I'd like to introduce everyone to uh, the new additions to my ranch. As you can see, my cute little girl over here, she's actually quite friendly. Um, these are adults. Some of them are older, maybe around a year and a half or so. And um, the cool thing was when I took them out of their pet carrier, when I brought them home, I had three eggs in the pet carrier. That was really cool. I was supposed to have this thing here built before I brought them home. Well, um, it didn't quite work that way. So I decided I was going to just put them in this tub that I have temporarily while I was quickly going to put this thing. This thing here was actually a cabinet that was in a um, conversion van that we have uh, that my husband took out. And it was just kind of laying out in the yard. So I thought this would be perfect to turn into a little quail hutch. Um, I do intend on giving them more of a natural kind of aviary um, thing where they can have lots of room to roam. Um, but I, don't, I think from what I understand from all the internet, you don't want to give them too much, especially if there's more males. Right now I have one male and six females and I'm fine with that. So on this cage, it... I built these doors and I had this wire laying around and I think that's quarter inch by quarter inch uh, hardware cloth and this is my latch that I, I kind of put in here it's I'm gonna have to redo that that's something weird but if you can see under here where the lighting is this I had this set up for uh, my plants that I had. I was making like a terrarium style thing for my plants. So I have a LED light and I believe those are grow lights, a full spectrum grow light. And then above that, I have a computer fan. And so this is circulating air in here to kind of help keep airflow for them. And right here, these are, I want to call them Pringles, but they're not okay. They're Lay's stacks containers. And I just cut slits in them and put in their feed. And it seems to be working pretty good. I do see that they're rolling, kind of turning a little bit. And so it's spilling out in the into the sand. So the bottom is made of, I put sand in there. And they love the sand because they like to bathe in it. And uh, do all that fun stuff. Um, I have two of these in here. And they seem to like them, but I'm going to have to make it so they don't rotate on them. Uh probably put a either screw it down which I'm, I think I don't want to I might want to do something like um, a board that pinches it in there so that it doesn't roll on them and I think that helps them keep from being less wasteful because I guess they're really wasteful on their food they, they just throw it everywhere uh, kind of like my goats and so I will be working on making sure to find ways so they don't waste as much food. And here's their water. Now I want to change this out. And it's yellow because I have uh, some vitamins in there that my sister gave me to give them. And that's vitamin water for them. Because they haven't laid any eggs since uh, Monday. I got one egg on Monday. So... I'm hoping that by giving them the vitamins and what I'm feeding them is um, egg layer for chickens and they need 30% protein and the egg layer is I think 17, 16 or 17%. So I have, um, I threw in some powdered eggs. So I have uh, mixed in there. So they have higher protein. Hopefully I put in enough for them and they will start laying eggs. One of my females, she came injured. Um, uh, when I got her, they were, she was, the gal was saying that she thought it was, she was not doing so well. So she gave me extra hens in there, which was pretty awesome that she did that. I like that. Um, so anyway, after uh, some more investigating, I called my sister over. She's I call her the chicken lady because she has like a lot of chickens. And um, anyway, so she knows more about birds. The I had her come over and take a look at this hen because she looked like she was in a lot of pain. 
and I thought maybe she had a broken leg. So I had to go to work the next day and um, so we had to wait till I got off work for her to come out and, and check on this hen. Turns out that it doesn't seem like she has a broken leg, but it looks like she's got some massive bruising from her entire hip, her whole leg, uh, thigh and leg all the way down to her knee. Her knee was swollen pretty bad and hot to the touch. So she got hurt pretty bad somehow. My, my poor injured girl here. That's her right there. Uh, she's doing better. She doesn't quite look as like she was in as much pain as she was. She's still in pain. But she's, she's actually getting up and kind of hobbling around more than she did yet the, on the first day. The first day she was not moving at all. So she's improving, still eating and drinking. This little guy here that's pretty active in the back corner is my rooster. I think I want to name him Hoppy because I noticed he likes to hop across the hutch. It's really cute. And he's smaller than the hens. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Whoops. Little turkey. Yeah, he's active. I hope the microphone is picking up their chirping, but I heard they're super quiet. And they really are. It's pretty cool. I'm watching you. This is one of my dogs, Jake, and he and I are just enjoying looking at the birds and just watching them play in the dirt. And I think Jake wants to eat them. Yep, keeps licking his chops there. He's uh, got, what is it, like 3% wolf in his genetics. So he's got a high uh, kill drive, uh, he and his two brothers. So we keep them pretty contained and we don't let them uh, have free reign of anything. <laughs> but they're good dogs, really good dogs. For the highest percentage uh, breed in them is 14% uh, Border Collie, so he also likes to chase. So you got to be real careful with these dogs. guys for um, <clears throat> watching my video and seeing my new additions to the branch and I will make sure to keep you guys updated of all the things that are going on and um, maybe it might encourage you guys to also get into quail.